Personal Trainer is the name of the group. And the album is called Big Love Blanket. We're going to go through it track by track. I hope we keep you engaged um, <laughs> as you listen to our thoughts. <laughs> uh, here we go, boys. Starting off with the first track, which is also the name of the album. It's Big Love Blanket. Uh, love the opener. I like how it sort of builds up. Starts off with just his vocals. They sound good, well produced um, for just vocals, which I know might sound a bit odd, but um, I really like the the production on him. Um, and then we must talk about it because I'm going to go straight into it. The transition oh. into the laser is... I mean, if you suffer from erectile dysfunction, listen to this <laughs> because it'll be instantly cured. Yeah, this transition makes all the previous weeks of pointless transitions that I've moaned at worth it. That's how good it is. Yeah. Fucking wonderful. Otherworldly. Uh, in, otherworldly. Great word. Thank in you terms so much. of uh, Big Love Blanket, I mirror Yanni's thoughts. Um, and I said in group chat before, I have grown up. And I now like vocals in this style. That does not change through this album. Spoiler alert. What's the style, Carl? If you could describe this, the style. Ropey. <laughs> Ropey. A bit annoying. Growers. Which, as everyone who listens to Fools on Hill podcasts, all the best ones are. Mm. <laughs> Damn right they are. Um I agree, this is a great opener. Um, when it first started, I was like, is something broke? Why is it just vocals? <laughs> um, and I feel like it. they kind of do it just long enough where it's kind of weird, and then the music starts, um, mm. and I think that's quite effective. Um, it, it almost feels very, very much like just an, isolo- um, <clears throat> an isolated vi- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking bowels are escaping me tonight. An isolated vocal from like a, just the middle of a verse that's been isolated, mm. obviously, um, which just got obviously that quite a strange effect of just it feels like missing something, but works very well. That build up reminds me very much of like Black Country New Road with the kind of single note um, strings, kind of atonal, kind of almost, um, and then obviously that that switch over into the laser that transition is fantabadozy. Well, it's absolutely wonderful. Funny enough, you should mention that song, The Laser Dean, because, you know, we'll talk about it right now. So much energy in this. Obviously, from the transition, it's just out the blocks, as Kyle said before. Yep. Um, it's just a strong oof. The, the, the song, um, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of it, but it, it works so well. <laughs> It does. Uh, are we talking about the laser? I've kind of zoned out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the laser is a big banger. This is one of my favorite tracks I've heard in quite a while. Wow. Um, I know we listened to it as a single. I remember liking it, but I don't know if I like it as much as I do now. Mm. It's just such a good time. Just It makes me happy, and the chorus is fucking huge. Mm. Yeah, it really is a great, um, just a good time song this is a good time song and um i've definitely grown to like this a lot more since i first heard it when it was a single one of the first singles uh obviously this version has a lot more energy it's got a build up which helps an awful lot it just kind of kicks start on it um but the more and more i listen to it i just think it's just an absolute slapper slapper oh, indeed it is um we must also mention again, because there is another one, transition into the next track, which we'll cover yes. right now, right the second, so, you know, don't don't wait any longer. It's called Rug Busters. Um, another solid track, to be honest. I've got nothing more to add than that. Um, it's just a solid track. Good time. This track, when it was released, kind of really turned me on to Personal Trainer, like more so than just enjoying the odd song. I, I was actively in, looking forward to this album, which... Came as a surprise when Liam told me on Thursday that it was released on Friday. Um, <laughs> but, yep, Transition's fat. Bass is great. Uh, video is great to the song. If you haven't watched it, I recommend doing so. Just another top-notch track. 
yeah, it's really, really good. That um, kind of chorus or pre-chorus, or whatever, um, really gets in my ear holes. Gets right in there, um, digs deep, and um, yeah, it's great. It's just got so many good elements to it, like the uh, the kind of the the harmonica, that guitar tone, um, for like the solo is wonderful. The bass is wonderful throughout. Um, just a very solid, um, modern track. So modern. It's very it modern. was released not that long ago. It's that modern. Um, next track is Milk Upon First Listen. And I did listen to this album again straight after finishing it because I enjoyed it that much. So, you know, spoilers potentially for the rating part of this. Um, Milk, um, I wasn't that mad on upon first listen. I felt like it dropped in energy quite a bit. But um, upon re-listen, it's not that bad. Uh, I like the, the switch up towards the half, well, yeah, around the halfway mark that happens with the rhythms and all of it. Um, so yeah, it's a decent album track. Probably my least favourite of the entire album, to be honest, but um, I don't hate it, so you know, that's positive. That's positive. Now, with this vocal style, I often struggle with slower songs. When I first heard this track, I thought that would happen again, but then upon re-listen, I really like it. I think the change up halfway through, as Yanni said, is wonderful. The music does enough to keep me interested. And again, I really like the hook of drinking straight from the cart and just being repeated nonstop. Just, just really good. It's a really good track. Yeah, I agree um, with both your points, positive and negative. Really, um, I, um, yeah, I, I really like. It. I really like the. If I could pinpoint one thing, the violins very nice throughout the song. Um, I, I heard that off my phone, and I thought, oh, that sounds nice. Wow. Um and yeah, the I think this the kind of this, the end that switch up at the end. Again, quite reminiscent of Black and Chinese Road, but just you can still feel the energy, uh and the kind of uh just having a bit more fun with it kind of thing, um, from personal trainer. I think makes it a, a difference, but you get that same kind of orchestral and uh, kind of score, um, and a very kind of melodramatic ending sort of thing, but Bit, 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 of, bit of fun, you know? Um, bit of not take themselves too seriously. Uh, <laughs> next up, we've got Key of Ego. Um, another track I liked. Very sort of late 90s alternative rock I got from this, like um, Starlings. And then some like Parque Quartz vibes from the backing vocals. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, yeah this is another Stone Cold Slapper. Um, the riff at the start, I can't really remember off the top of my head if it's synth or guitar, uh, is fantastic. The bass is again on another level, and I love how heavy it gets. Good track, yeah. Very solid, very solid tune. Reminds me a lot of uh, Warm Dusha, Van Dusha, if you will. That's not how to pronounce. Um, but if you want to pretend they're German and you're German, you can say Van Dusha, uh, you know, it's loud 2022. Right. Um, but yeah, very, just very solid, very solid tune, very uh, just loud and in your face and nitty gritty, and I like that. <laughs> nitty gritty. Next up, we've got uh, Texas in the kitchen. Uh, that little synth at the start, it's just stereo by pavement. Mm. Um, yeah, you're right, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like this one again. God. Oh, I repeat myself here, aren't I? Uh, lovely little riff, and I like the like sort of build up at the end. It's very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, which is pretty much mirror my comments that I said about milk. Um, I thought it was another really good track. Um, it's just it's just very good, and I don't want to make the sound like a disservice to the band, but I'm surprised that I like as much as I do, like even the slower ones which mm-hmm. is testament to how good this album is, in my opinion. Old yeah. or new testament? Um, oh, the old, because, I mean, there's yeah. four versions of the New Testament. Yeah. And you, you like the violence more. Yeah. Oh, big up the violence. Who doesn't? Big up more, the violence. More deaths, please. <laughs> As li- that's Liam shouting <laughs> while watching Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there a band called The Violence? 
If not, why not? I'm not saying I'd want it, but that seems like a decent band name. Probably, mate. Probably. What do you think of this song, though? Go on. Tell me. Sorry, we're talking about songs? Uh, no, I uh, really like this song. Um, I think my thoughts have gone completely out of my head. This one reminded me of um, Pocket Court, particularly, uh, vocally. Um, uh, and Andrew Savage's vocals. Um I can't my blind's gone like I really, really like this song. I like the flute at the end. Is this the one the flute at the end? Mm. Or like some sort of wind okay. instrument. <laughs> um but yeah, I just think yeah. this is a really solid tune. The guitar in this one's great. It just is very, very easy to, to listen to. Um the great variety on this album thus far, I think, in terms of kind of uh sounds and styles. Uh no, indeed. Not, it's very cohesive. But it's kind of you know going to the edges of that that boundary a little bit. Um, the edge of cohesion. Uh, next yeah. up we have Cut Loose. I like the sounds on this track. Keeps the album interesting, as you were saying. Sounds like different styles again. Um, and the soft singing at the start is very very complementary against the synth that's playing. It just works very well. And then obviously it changes into the more normal singing that he does, but it's uh, it's a good change up. Uh, now I've got a uh, got a confession to make here, boys. Um, I have listened Is to this someone album. getting the best of you. <laughs> <laughs> I have listened to this album numerous times, but uh, when it came to me making my final notes today, this song came on when we were sending numerous voice notes in the group chat. So it's kind of less memorable to me than the others. So. I've just said here that it's probably the one I care least about, but it's not to say that I didn't enjoy it. I just don't really remember it, but it's my own fault. I do apologize. Um, the kind of synth sound and stuff and the sounds of this song remind me very much of like, again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I say again, I haven't done this before, but <laughs> probably have at some point in my life. Um, I won't specify a time period because I'm probably wrong, but it'd be on the soundtrack to Derry Girls. So what's that? Late eighties, early nineties, something like that. I think that's around that time. Um, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but really for bad. some reason, the song itself reminds me of a um, like a Spiral Stairs pavement song. Not a Spiral Stairs solo song. Spiral Stairs pavement song. The structure and the kind of the chord progressions and stuff. I feel like something he would have done within that period. Um, but what Personal Train have done is very nice. Very, very nice. Indeed. Very, very nice. Um, <laughs> the next one is called The Money Department. Very short track, this. Uh, nice little tune. Um, again, kept things interesting. I felt like if this song was longer, it would have been like almost pointless. But even though it's so short, it doesn't feel pointless. It feels like it's a good sort of... It's like a, uh, a reminder of what personal trainer are kind of like about. With the, like yeah. the higher energy stuff, um, so yeah, it was an all right little uh, a ditty, <laughs> not bitty. Uh, yeah, it does a lot in a minute. Um, which I mean, no comment. It's not about um, what you do; it's about how you do it. <laughs> tell me about it. Um, yeah, I, um, yeah, I didn't care for this much on first listen to be quite honest with you. Um, but listening for it now, I can see its placement. Uh, it's pretty solid on this album. Um, and like it's fine. It kind of does its job, I suppose, for a minute before we go into the next big hitter. Mm. <laughs> Are we going to go right there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to dive right into that, that, the belly of the beast. Dive in, baby. Um, former puppy. Uh, I think I've mentioned this when we covered the single. Fucking unreal track. I love every part of this song so much. The nostalgic elements to it, whatever's being played is just brings nostalgia. Um I think it's great the fact there's like two hooks as well. So there's the hook with the vocals, and then there's like the instrumental bit, which is the first bit you hear of the yeah. when it hooks into the song. And the fact there's two of them and they're normally played like one after another, it it's quite a clever thing to do that you don't really see that much of. Yeah. And it just it works so far. I love this song. This is my favorite song off this album. Whoa. That, that particular part you're talking about there, Yanni, it creates a very nice drive through the song, doesn't it? It keep you yes. really keeps you kind of 
keeps you going through the whole thing. Works very well. Um, chugging along. Sorry, Cal. Need to give you actual points. <laughs> no, don't worry, lad. Um, I didn't really have anything too in depth to say. Just that it's another great track, and this whole album has just been like thirty six minutes of just fun, which is what we what we need more of. Mm. What well, I need more of, anyway. I absolutely agree, Cal. We all need a bit Saturday, more mate. fun in our lives. And I'll bring it to you. Don't you worry about that. Um, yeah, this is a this is my favorite song off the album. It's um, I think it's actually like phenomenal. Mm. To be quite honest, mm-hmm. it's almost like um, I don't want to compare it to that song, but it reminds me of like famous from Cotton. That feeling, that kind of like, oh well, this is they've made a very good song here, very good like pop song with enough kind of interesting elements that it's very good. Very good. Uh, next. And last, we have um, Valsberg Hero. Liam? Valsberg. <laughs> Thank you. Hell. Um, I, <laughs> I think it's a very nice closer. Does a good job of rounding off the album pretty nicely. Yep. Mirrors. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, absolutely mirrors. Um, I just want to make a point, but I can't remember which song it's about. And I was listening through, it didn't twig with me again, so it's pointless, really. But I'm gonna say anyway. But one of these songs gave me the same vibe as just like, um, Third Eye Blind era of music. Uh, and uh, at the same time, like, um, Jimmy Eat World. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm kind of that I'm no, encompassing mate. there by these two bands? But yes. I can't remember which song it was. But like, you know, again, there's another kind of influence or um, cornerstone you can use for this album, um, which is very good. And do you know what? It's very good. It's very fucking good. Um, we must now rate, and I can't wait for this part. Callum, tell me your rating, please. I am going to rate this album an eight because I thought it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rate this a nine because I thought it was divine <laughs> <laughs> well funny you should say that Liam because I'm also going to rate it a 9 as I thought it was sublime <laughs> oh. Fantastic. Otherwise, well then, little great. did we know how well we could rhyme <laughs> <laughs> good job <laughs> I am um, I'm, I'm going to order this as soon as we finish recording this so, yeah um, I might because uh, I, I very much that. regret not ordering gazebo um, that the last EP that came out. Oh, um, fucking hell, Tom Davis. Sorry, I've watched Everton. Jesus Christ. Fucking oh, hell. Oh, no, fucking distracted, <laughs> fucking Tom <are> Davis. <laughs> Got <the> fucking football <laughs> on the background. You cheeky bastard. Personal trainer. We're trying to give personal trainer our personal undivided attention. That's and why I, That's why I didn't realise we were on laser before, as I was trying to find a stream. <laughs> you being oh, a big it love now. wankit over there. Um, Liam, please tell me what the mode is. Oh, we're doing this, aren't we? Ooh, we're doing this, baby. It's oh. a nine. Uh, oh, uh, median? It's a nine. Number nine. Mean? Um, 18.26. It would be uh, 8.7 recurring. 8.6 recurring, sorry. And then finally, the range. It's a lonely little one. I'm going to say it um, out loud, because I Go mentioned on. it in the chat. But this album's going to pop up somewhere in a couple of months. Do you remember at one point we we very shortly discussed you could add the gold star on certain things? I can't remember what. Are you, do you want to put a gold star on it? I have no recollection of us. I, I don't know what you're on about, mate. I think this was ages <laughs> ago. We said it's like kind of like to put a sticker on it as to say, like, you know, this one might last the test of time and no make it into the end of years. No? Well, I mean, if we did say it, if we didn't, we, we probably did. Liam, are you dreaming um, about us again? This is, this is going to get gold star. <laughs> gold star. Uh, yeah. Gold star. Thank you, <laughs> personal trainer. And thank you for watching that segment. If you're just watching this on YouTube. 